Hello guys, good day to all, and uh, it's me again, Mike Padua, and I'm back for our weather analysis for this uh, Friday until Sunday, another weekend, June 14 to 16, 2024. This is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. And also one of the uh, best hotels in uh, the Bicol region and Naga City, Avenue Plaza Hotel. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamakini Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. So let's begin with our update. Here's the uh, latest uh, fast animation from the University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page. We are looking at a uh, surface trough here in the vicinity of uh, Palawan as it traversed Mindanao yesterday and it's now moving towards Palawan as it uh, traverses Sulu Archipelago. So lots of thunderstorms will be expected across these areas including the Visayas while isolated to scattered rain showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening will also be expected in uh, various sections of the country. So here in Naga City and parts of the Bicol region, we are experiencing daily uh, thunderstorm activity between 1 to 4 p.m. Uh, with some of this extending until 5 p.m. So this is a good relief for the farmlands of uh, the Bicol region and also elsewhere across the uh, Philippine Islands. So this is a sign that we are now past the uh, peak of the El Nino, but we still have uh, the effects of this until uh, likely uh, July or August, meaning we are going to experience still below average rainfall despite of this uh, daily rain. And uh, we are still devoid of any tropical cyclone formation due to uh, unfavorable upper level conditions here in the uh, western pacific and the uh, dry phase of the modern julian oscillation the intra-seasonal variability wherein, wherein every uh, 40 to 45 days we might be having some wet and dry conditions across the western pacific wherein during wet conditions we expect this uh, kind of back-to-back uh, -to -back tropical cyclone formation but so far it's still uh, absent as of this time most likely during the last week of June through the first week of the July, we, are, we will be expecting this uh, uh, possibility of tropical cyclone formation since peak months of the uh, tropical cyclone formation over the Philippine Islands and the Western Pacific are usually during the months of August to September. Okay, so we're beginning to uh, see some increase of this uh, tropical cyclone activity, but let's hope and pray that it won't make landfall to any parts of the archipelago and uh, elsewhere okay and uh, the presence of these cyclones will uh, pave way to the, the increasing uh, pull of the will pave way for the beginning of the southwest monsoon that we are still waiting since the uh, passage of Aghan but it's only uh, that part of the monsoon is still the uh, uh, infancy stage okay during the last week of May but we are still awaiting the full blast of this uh, southwest monsoon. Mostly we are experiencing calm conditions and thunderstorm activity in the afternoon or evening. Here's the uh, uh, zoom in satellite animation from windy.com. And here's the uh, surface trough moving across uh, Palawan. These are area of uh, multiple thunderstorms. So watch out for possible uh, flash floods or landslides when we have a very strong thunderstorm visiting your respective areas while as the uh, afternoon progresses another wave of thunderstorms forming over Luzon right now in the Bicol region we are now experiencing some rainfall as of this uh, uh, early afternoon and also across the Visayas and Mindanao here's the uh, windy.com uh, wind and pressure forecast from the European model for the next three days until Monday and this is through the weekend and as you can see right now, we have southwesterly wind flow over the West Philippine Sea, affecting also the areas of uh, um, extreme northern Luzon. But elsewhere, it will it will remain calm to variable winds, 
with some light southerly winds over Sulu Archipelago, Palawan, Sambuanga Peninsula, and southeastern winds over the coastal waters of Bicol and eastern Visayas. And if we move this to Saturday and uh, Sunday, it will remain the same until Monday. Mostly calm conditions to variable winds will be expected in various sections of the country and uh, uh, during the afternoon evening the usual thunderstorms will be the frequent uh, visitor that will uh, bring lots of rainfall across the uh, country during the uh, uh, weekend okay and for the rain forecast uh, right now we have uh, possibility of thunderstorms in uh, various sections of the country as you can see here during the afternoon of today more frequent over Mindanao, Visayas, Bicol, Southern Tagalog provinces and some parts of Northern and Central Luzon and on Saturday uh, still there will be another round of thunderstorms in the afternoon to early evening so don't forget to bring your umbrellas and rain gear as well as on Sunday, this will be on Father's Day, there will be a strong thunderstorm activity over Mindanao. Elsewhere, isolated to scattered uh, thunderstorms will also be expected, so don't forget to bring your uh, rain gear or umbrellas okay, during the weekend. And on Monday afternoon, another round of thunderstorms will be the dominant uh, uh, local uh, system in uh, various sections. Of the country as for the rainfall accumulation forecast this is for the next three days until Monday or Sunday we expect most of the country will be uh, experiencing some isolated rain showers and thunderstorms either in the afternoon or evening or even in the morning but in you know, small cases okay and uh, becoming more frequent here over Western Visayas and Mindanao because of this uh, passing uh, surface troughs and uh, localized uh, uh, convection over these areas uh, since we have uh, calm conditions so most of these uh, rain clouds uh, form vertically and it will spawn more thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening and for the uh, uh, wave forecast for the next three days this is today uh, Friday Saturday Sunday until Monday we expect uh, wave heights here over the uh, East Philippine Sea uh, almost one meter in height while over the central portions of the Philippine archipelago we expect calm conditions to up to uh, almost 5.5 okay almost 0.5 meters and here over the West Philippine Sea 0 0.3 up to uh, uh, more than uh, one meter will be expected over uh, the West Philippine Sea so everything is quiet everything is good if you are a fisherman it's okay to uh, uh, have some fishing activities during the weekend as well as uh, going for a sea travel across the various uh, uh, waterways of the philippine islands and before we leave you here's the uh, latest global tropics hazards outlook from the climate prediction center of NOAA, valid for the next two to three weeks wherein the third week is highly uncertain and for week two, there might be a possibility of a tropical cyclone formation over the Philippine Sea and the West Philippine Sea during uh, June 19 to June 25 with more than 20% uh, probability. Uh, so it's not yet uh, sure. But uh, on week three, valid June 26 to July 2, we also uh, continue to uh, have a possibility of a tropical cyclone formation over the East and West Philippine Seas and uh, it will be higher over the eastern portion of Luzon this is uh, at around uh, more than 60 percent probability but uh, take note that the third week is still highly uncertain so we still don't know if this will push through but we will uh, let you know once uh, the computer models are already agreeing with each other that there will be some formation so this is more than 40 percent not more than 60 percent okay so more than 40 percent of a tropical cyclone formation but still not sure uh, roughly 50 50 possibility of this uh, forming during the last week of uh, june towards the uh, first week of july 
Okay, so there you go. That's the latest for the today, Friday, and we'll return uh, on Monday to give you more updates on the weather from Typhoon 2000. This is Mike Padua saying uh, happy weekend to all. Stay safe always. And don't forget to watch our Tagalog version. Uh, just visit our uh, our channel, Mr. Typhoon the TV, or to our Facebook channel, Mike Mr. Typhoon Padua, for the latest of our updates. And we have a Tagalog version, okay, on those channels, those who are asking, okay, since this is the English version. Uh, good day, stay safe always, happy weekend, and thank you so much for watching our channel.